Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yes. My name is Millie. My name is Reggie. I'm Millie. My name's Grandad. Oh. Shame the roses are starting to just mm. droop a little bit. Yeah. How nice is this? Oh, oh yes. Oh. Yeah, yes. Oh, yes. No way. Oh, oh yes! Oh my god! This is for my lovely neighbours. That is and amazing. Gravy. Look at that! I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> right, it's getting nice support. Yeah, support out. Oh, um, how nice is it? Easter Sunday, and our neighbours, who are also doing a boat, and they're also subscribers, have just brought us round a Sunday dinner. That is amazing. Thank you, Simon Trudy. Yeah, thank you, Simon and Trudy. Wicked. That's amazing. They didn't want to be on camera. They've just done a runner quickly, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah, but we want to thank them. Right, get stuck in then. Put the paintbrushes away. Shut the door. <laughs> yeah, that's it, we've got it. <laughs> They've also brought us a gas heater round because we've heard that it uh, could drop to minus seven tonight. How nice. Right, bye. We'll go off to enjoy. Right then, back to work. So we carry on chopping up this furniture. Well, that's a James film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we use these two sets of drawers to um, cut down and make some drawers that go under our bed. Nice to be recycling some of our old stuff. Um, probably would have been quicker making new but I'm glad we used them. I also found um, a piece of wood in a reclamation yard. I climbed over a big bin to try and get it and uh, bought it for a couple of quid. And I really like it. I want to clean it up. Not sure what I'm doing with it yet. Um, probably the headboard or it'd be somewhere in the bedroom anyway. What I'm doing here is uh, painting small areas of uh, lilac colour um, and I'm going to use a wax resist technique on them just so the finished product doesn't look like stark white, it'll look a little bit more old and worn. Once the paint's dry I'll um, just rub a candle in different areas, usually the corners and around the um, handles or any areas that um, cupboards would usually get worn. Once the top coats are on um, and dried, I rub with sandpaper and where the wax was, it'll peel off, it'll sand off and it'll reveal the lilac underneath. So we're going to do 
white units with um, the lilac showing through. Some air vents in. Here you can see I've got some like um, it's like a decorative mesh. I don't know what you describe it as, but um, it came in like a square sections that we bought, and we're going to use them to put um, air vents in the side of the furniture that go in the bedroom. There's going to be a lot of vents in other furniture in the boat, but we've read on various forums that. Uh, and through having a motor home as well, we, we experienced a bit of damp in the, in the furniture and the wardrobes there. So we just thought it'd be a good idea to cut some holes in the side of the wardrobe here. Um, and then the mesh is going to actually be fixed on the inside. So you'll see in a minute I start to cut out with a circular saw cutter, hole cutter and a jigsaw. Uh, sand it back and the vents will go in there. But... Uh, just marking out here at the moment. So now that lilac has dried, um, I start using a candle and just uh, putting the wax around the edges. The candle wasn't great, it was a scented little tea light, um, but I was a bit impatient and wanted to do it and that's all I had. Um, but it started like melting and it was a little bit soft and squidgy. After that, I started painting the first coat of white really rub it in on that one and then I've done another few coats
Then I've done exactly the same on the wardrobe. Right, I'm just going to let you know what's going on with this ceiling because if you've seen in the previous vlog we've actually wrapped this foil from like the, under the floor and up to the gunnels and that's as far as we're going to go but we've decided now that we might just continue all the way up the side of the hall and across the cabin toppers as well just purely and simply because for the cost of it and what we'll achieve with it, it's going to be a lot better so that's the, the idea behind it but for now because we're not going to be doing these walls and the ceiling yet we've just decided to put these like cable trays up here and all they're going to be is plywood um, just for running cables around the bedroom and the bathroom it changes down the other end of the boat but you'll see that later but yeah so so we can get these plywood cable trays and we'll just, just varnish them up to stick up there we need to get this up first so all I've done is just cut this to a side and then stapled it to the battens on the roof and now all I'm going to do now is get this into place and then just screw this into place and then eventually say so the cables are going to run in here there is another piece that's going to go in the end there but I haven't cut that yet but that's, that's no big shakes so yeah that's basically where that's going to sit We've just marked a line here so that it's a distance away from the wall. And now we'll be able to get a, a screw in here to fix it up here somewhere. There's actually two buttons behind here, so we should be okay. Get one of here somewhere.
Right, yesterday um, I've cut this piece of ply here. Just about to see it on the video. So we'll put it there. Let's see about it. Yeah, cut this bit of ply off yesterday, which is going to go behind the bed head. Um, it's going to form a cable tray that runs around the bow of the boat. So yesterday cut that down to size, varnished it and it's now dry so I'm just in the process of going to go and put this above the bed now so I'll bring in on that now. So yeah, I've already put the cable trailer on there and along the port side of the boat. So now this piece I've just told you about is going to go get it on the film sorry across this back end here so i'm just going to screw that in place and then once i've screwed it up i'll come back to you and show you what it looks like right and that's it's all now secured to the roof of the boat so it's going to just basically run across the stern bow should i say wrong way around along the bow on one side and then across the other and all our cables are going to run around the perimeter of the bedroom it's different at the other end of the boat but you'll see that in a bit 